Hello everyone, I'm here in front of you today to kick off our new whiteboard video series where we will be delivering even more tools, tips, and strategies to help you get the most out of your marketing. Keep an eye out for future topics ranging from the latest innovations in technology to search strategy to marketing best practices and more. Today we begin by analyzing the modern customer journey and how data is actually the key to help optimize every stage of this journey. And this topic is relevant to any marketer out there, whether you're in the B2B or B2C business. And we say modern customer journey because it no longer looks like that stale old purchase funnel, you know, you know what I'm talking about, of yesteryear. Instead, it's evolved into this journey that no longer ends at the purchase uh, that a customer makes with your business. Um, it actually will still begin at the same place, awareness, uh, where you know, the customer is identifying their own need, the brands that can help them solve this need, um, and then they might have formed some opinions on these brands here, but it's really when they dive deeper into the consideration and evaluation stage um, that they're evaluating which option is going to be the best solution. Um, and then I think we all know what happens at the purchase stage, but it's this post-purchase experience down here that is extremely important and what makes this new customer journey distinct um, from the old purchase funnel. No longer can you simply make a sale and move on. There are too many avenues for customers to complain about your brand or you, I mean, you hope, hope they'd advocate for your brand, um, but there's just too many uh, avenues for them to do that. And so you really need to nurture these relationships in this stage um, in hopes that they'll then make this loyalty loop here back to purchasing with you again and completely bypassing the consideration and evaluation of other brands. Um, it's at this critical point here where they make this decision. And that's why it's essential right here to nurture these relationships. Otherwise, you could be really losing out on some valuable customers. Um, and then actually, outside of this entire journey, we have all of these influencers. Um, at every stage. These are things such as your marketing, your family, friends, media, so on. All of these influencers that are impacting our decisions and our purchases and then also our post-purchase actions. Um, and I mean, there's tons of these influencers. So how do you take control of them? By using the data that's at your disposal. Uh, and since this video is all about data, we're actually going to use a few numbers ourselves to break down how you can get richer analytics in 2015. Let's start with CRM, or Customer Relationship Management Systems. 67% of B2B marketers use a CRM regularly. They get it. A CRM not only helps you, you know, manage your customer relationships and gather all this data about them, but it helps you use this data to personalize your future interactions with them throughout the customer journey. Up next, we know that businesses that use marketing automation see 107% better lead conversion rates. But why is that? They use this data to you know, capture, score, and report on web leads in order to nurture the relationships and ultimately drive more sales in the end. And for 82% of companies, they have increased their focus on uh, conversion rate optimization this year. And A-B testing is one of the most popular methods that they're using to do this. Um, it not only you know, it helps give you insight into the customer uh, decision-making process, um, but you can really test out different things to understand how these customers are uh, having influencers impact them, how they actually make their decision to purchase. Um, so you can test things like email subject lines, your ad copy, content on your website, uh, and so on in order to get this data and get this insight. Now mobile. Uh, mobile search ad spending is actually set to surpass that of desktop this year. And then by 2018, mobile search spending is going to make up 77% of all search spending. That's, I mean, that's important. Um, and so using a keyword, -led, any keyword level data that you can get um, and capture from your marketing can really help you optimize your search strategy for the keywords and phrases that are driving conversions from your search uh, marketing. And especially from your mobile search marketing, as you can see, that's very important. So finally, when 66% of sales managers tell you that inbound calls are extremely valuable leads more than any other type of lead, you listen. So call tracking data is actually what can help you get, on, um, get information and understand what sources are driving inbound calls to your business. 
uh, so that you can then optimize your marketing to drive more of those valuable leads for your sales teams. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for your time. These are actually only a few of the ways that you can get richer analytics in 2015, but we hope that you got some good insights that you can then use to jumpstart your own strategy this year. Thanks.